Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to the Live Capital YouTube channel where life is for the taking. It is the host himself, Ted Talking Money, coming back at you to tell you something about what Energy Web Token. Guys, you already understand we haven't really done too much of these reviews in quite a while. So, you know, we're going to be getting back to that. You know, this is this is going to be more so a deep dive. That's what we're going to be what we're going to be doing. Of course, you know, uh, make sure you guys mention in the comments if there's any other coins you guys want us to look over in the future. But of course, that's going to be done with so much oh man vetting understand that you know there's a lot of garbage projects out there and there's a lot of deception out there that wants to throw you off but energy web tokens have been around for a while and when it comes down to a deep dive with them oh they deserve it so let's actually look right here at this chart as you guys see here we're looking at an all-time high on this baby at 19 bucks okay 19 bucks all right. At a max supply of 100 million. Now, let me tell you guys, as as I've done my digging, as I've done my digging, it really comes out to be that there seems to be a point. The energy web token will make you rich in the future. Why do you say that, Ted? How is it that you can guarantee me these things? I understand this ain't financial advice, just advice from a friend. But Lyft Capital is here to tell you that life is for the taking. Let's actually look and see what energy web token is going to freaking do out here. It's a it's a it's a grid operator. All right. So before we even get into that part, really realize the Paris Crypto Accord. We're talking about something that's connected with the United Nations. OK, this thing is deep already with like Ripple and its involvement with WEF and stuff like that. Energy Web is involved and partnered with Ripple as well. All right. Grid operator maximizing the value of distributed energy resources for customers and the grid with shared digital infrastructure. All right. So those are all those different things here. Where, well, let's talk about the challenges of the energy industry taken together by by 2030 customer investments in renewable energy and distributed energy resources. That's DERs. So we got DLT and now we're talking about distributed energy resources and electric mobility will exceed utility investment in generation, transmission and distribution. Wow, guys. So already from there, I'm telling you guys about something that's very futuristic. So already right here, guys, the advantages, the advantages of a of a energy web token, the advantages of a energy web more so interoperability. If you're new to our, our, our community, if you're new to this channel, we really talk a lot about interoperability because that's what's going to be making the winners and losers in this crypto space. Instead of point to point integration between siloed systems, the entire market collectively owns and operates a shared digital infrastructure. You understand the United Nations wants to get, get behind anything that can provide something like that. OK, we're talking about global interoperability. You might be, you know, look, you might feel scared, you know, you know, oh, my God, one world government. Realize this one world's government's been going on since the 1800s. The new thing we're coming into is not going to be something to be scared of. All right. Universal identity. Digital identities allow you to see and transact with all types of clean energy resources at the edge of the grid. Trusted data, the energy web chain. And we'll talk about that. And stack offers a secure and transparent <clears throat> Excuse me, and shared view of the same asset to all market participants. Moving forward, guys, look, energy suppliers, enhance green products, offerings and grow your customer base. All those good things, as you guys see here, they're going to continue uh, just about the uh, challenges for energy suppliers. Energy suppliers need to efficiently and accurately offer low carbon energy solutions at different scales to different types of customers. Energy solutions or suppliers need to constantly look for additional revenue uh, streams to stay competitive. Now, just to talk about the advantages right here uh, on the energy supplier side with energy web now they can track the entire life cycle of that low energy of that low carbon energy they can create new product offerings they can produce locally and sell globally like we said interoperable technology 21st century technology that's future proof and designed around the new paradigm plus interoperable of decentralized uh, interoperable of decentralized energy blockchain so yeah the the energy web chain and stack offers a secure uh transparent and shared view of the same assets to all market participants these are a couple of the uh examples as you see here zero generation attribute tracking system 
you know, a few a few different things. I'll leave you guys a link for that. But this thing gets, you know, into the technicals of it. As you guys see here, they're working on digital ID, switchboard, enterprise grade roles, uh, management apps, and assign permission to DIDs, those digital IDs, to your team members and, and partners, on-chain certificates, marketplaces, a module to directly trade certificates of low-carbon energy and other green products to maximize revenue and customer base. Seriously. So, you know, of course, um, for the energy producers and everything, then those credits and stuff will be of uh, um, will be valuable in the future. But you as a retail investor yourself can get involved, you know, in those things. So I'll leave you guys a link for that as well. Of course, we've touched on this crypto climate accord, crypto climate accord. Now think about that. You understand that this whole thing is really backed and inspired by the Paris Climate Agreement. That's that's with the U.N. That's backed with the U.N. OK, so the uh, the CCA is a private sector led initiative for the entire crypto community focused on decarbonizing, decarbonizing the cryptocurrency and blockchain industry in record time. That record time is by 2030. You guys understand that that's that's where all of this is moving into by 2030. OK, so really what I'm saying, you might as well instead of swimming against the whales and being mad and, you know, falling for the for the uh, poison that they're giving the masses you might as well equip yourself swim with the whales okay because regardless there's always going to be whales wherever we go somebody always has to be in control you know just i guess for the for society even for human nature people just feel like they have to have somebody controlling them anyway uh but some of the uh news here guys just i really want want to show you guys this really is just this this a few things so you guys can really just see some uh headlines that are out here now um you know this this was right just just basically more so you have a uh, they were lobbying energy web and air were lobbying uh with u.s policymakers and regulators to connect the dots back in october of last year uh they were also uh crypto advocates call for clarity amid the climate uh summit that was a g7 summit back in november uh so you know just, just a few things there but right here as you see uh as the cca su surpasses 150 uh, supporters Energy Web and RMI announces new wave of open source solutions. Now, this is the good part, y'all. This this is the part where it really gets good. To complement, these are the solutions that the Crypto Climate Accord are actually coming out with. To complement the green hash rate software, Energy Web green hash rate uh, is is the software that enables any crypto miner to verify its use of a re a renewable energy to power its uh, operations. The solution will make it easier for uh, miners to prove their green sourcing to investors and regulators and green mine uh, green miner uh, pool operators. So look at this. So to complement that software, Energy Web is developing open source technical architecture to create tokenized pools for crypto miners. Uh, exchanges and investors to procure verified energy attribute certificates, EACs, energy attributes, attribute certificates. So basically these things I'm talking about, energy attribute certificates. I know, for example, Uphold, Uphold has um, carbon credits that they, you know, that they're putting out there. And it's more so on, not really under the guise, but just really like the more of those that you hold, you're more so offsetting those, you know, that, that carbon uh, out of the ecosystem, basically, they're offsetting credits, you know. So, I believe as we approach 2030, seriously, I think let's keep our eyes on it that those carbon credits are going to be something. Uh, but those e EACs and carbon offsets in this architect architecture, it is inspired by the US dollar coin, USDC model, USDC already. You get what I'm saying? The WEF, they're not, they're not touching tether. All right. W we have to not touch and tether. Tether is in hot water, hot water. OK, do your own research. If you think we're, you know, we're here to kick tires or anything like that, just do your own research. Look into their reserves. Uh, the USDC model EACs and carbon offset providers mint their respective supplies, then deliver verification of EACs and offset cancellations on the applicable EAC and carbon offset registries all on a public blockchain so that crypto or any other buyers can prove their environmental claims. See, that's what it's about to make sure that make Make, make it make it popular make it make it popular to be green this solution will offer a new digitized option for any crypto market participant to cover its respective energy use 
or carbon emissions associated with the energy use of their uh, crypto holdings and activities. And really, guys, understand the signatories over there, A0, A0 is a part of the crypto climate accord. So they'll be a part of this. I'm sure they'll be, uh, you know, having the green hash rate software, all those different things. Now, more from Energy Web for the validators over there. They just actually launched the uh, first phase of the validator dashboard. I'm not going to get too much into that, but the uh, the validator code of conduct defines the operational, governance, and token economic responsibilities of uh, validator organizer, uh, organizations. So I'll leave you guys a link for that. Now, this is a, a really good one right here. Now, Parity Technologies and Energy Web partner to launch new Energy Web Consortia Relay Chain. This is this is this is where it gets deep, though. This is where it really gets deep. So I'm going to show you guys here. Parity Technologies has long been at the fair for, uh, forefront of Web3 technology development, most recently building the, the core technology that supports Polkadot and Kusama ecosystems. OK, so realize that Parity already is at the core of Polkadot and Kusama. So substrate based blockchains uh, provide enterprises with flexible on chain governance functionalities, a key feature for enterprises building Web3 solutions. Right. Many companies in the wet in the energy web ecosystem have specific customer data privacy and legal requirements for the operation of enterprise grade solutions. Blockchains under the new consortia relay chain will allow energy web market participants to meet their specific governance requirements and experiment with new crypto e economic solutions. In addition, the consortia relay chain will be positioned as the first multi chain network connected to the polka dot so connected to polka dot so guys you you know they're they're building and they're doing different things with with polka dot you know that's that's that but as you see this relay chain is fascinating because you have to understand all the different members all the different people that are going to be a part of the energy web uh ecosystem and all those different things we're talking about suppliers and stuff like that they can be benefiting guys really realize well, right now what we're we're experiencing a liquidity crisis okay but at the you know it it, it it's it's darkest before dawn. OK, that's what I mean. We're going to be going into to where you can even have the conversation of UBI is because we're, we're talking about DeFi everywhere. The Consortia Relay Chain is the next step in the long term partnership between the two organizations. The current energy web chain is based off the EVM and proof of authority consensus mechanism originally developed by Parity Technologies. So already there, you, you see what I'm saying? Energy web. That's why you have your uh, energy web EW, the energy web token right now that you see on the retail side is ERC 20 because you already see that parity technologies, how they did with uh, with Polkadot, Kusama, they're already akin to the EVM launching the consortia. A relay chain with parity is the outcome of many years of co-development between the two organizations. So, yeah, man, they've been working together for quite a while. Uh, moving forward right here to show you guys, this is where it really gets good. So real cash flows generating staking rewards, energy web token staking. Guys, they, they announced this one right here in December uh, of last year. Now, just just slow down. Think about what I'm saying here. Staking for the energy web Come on, that that's basically what I'm talking about. There's going to be money just flowing freaking everywhere. Staking will be a crucial component of this new energy grid to operate. The decentralized operators of the grid need to guarantee the availability of their service like the market operators today. This decentralized service level agreement will provide as a decentralized curation and trust mechanism on the platform to our knowledge ewt staking will be the first utility token staking linked to real world cash flows man what you will experience when you stake your ewt is that you need to create a did that is auth authorized to stake. We are testing this functionality for a couple of reasons. One, real energy markets will operate with real energy assets. They need to know where people live and obviously an asset cannot be committed to several markets at the same moment in time. For testing this concept, we have included a proof of being a real person where your wallet address gets confirmed through email. Your email address will 
remain private and will not be publicly disclosed or linked to your wallet address. Once confirmed, the smart contract will allow your wallet address to become a digital ID that is authorized to stake. Boom, just like that, and all GDPR compliant by design. Wow. In future applications that will manage the grid using your assets, you can imagine that certain areas in your region are in need for a specific amount of power. By staking EWT, you commit to delivering the load or battery for storage or supply of electricity. Once the right amount is committed for that area, no further slash new capacity is needed. Uh, if you do not deliver your commitment, you might lose your stake. If you do deliver, you earn extra EWT. But for the stability and management of the grid, these mechanisms are important. Indeed, KYC will gradually evolve to KYD. <laughs> Good stuff right there, seriously. So I'll leave you guys a link for that phase one, testing the staking system from start to finish. Uh, phase two is gonna be testing the system with multiple service providers. As you guys see here, how's the curation going to work? So this is where the startups who want to be an operator enter. This is where the successful operators have to be. Now, if you are, if you have poor performance, no one wants these companies. You have no poor performance. But if you have a high percentage of network rewards shared with your patrons, this is you're flowing where you successfully where you need to be. If you have a low percentage of network rewards shared with your patrons, but you have good performance, this is where established players who want to be operators, this is where they enter. They have good performance, but low network rewards so they're going to be successful uh fast so yeah good stuff y'all this is seriously clearly the future and then to show you guys um uh, yeah it was only those uh st those two phases really good stuff y'all but i appreciate you making it to this part of the video go ahead hit the like button hit the subscribe button as well hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of these updates y'all but you already know what it is i'll holler at y'all later peace mm -hmm.